Well, new at midday, a silver lining to the COVID-19 crisis. Air pollution in Las Vegas is dropping. 13 Action News reporter Kelsey McFarland joins us live to explain why and what you can do to try to keep it that way. Kelsey. Kalina, I think now more than ever, people are needing to go outside and get that breath of fresh air. And right now the air is a bit more fresh. That's thanks to less cars on the road. How we drive how often we drive to make a tremendous impact on air quality. Kevin McDonald is the spokesman for the Clark County Department of Environment and Sustainability, previously named the Clark County Department of Air Quality. Their duties deemed essential. Our staff is still out there performing a lot of their, their regular duties. Differently, though, in keeping with social distancing and as well as the health and safety of everybody involved. Staff is monitoring our air at stations like this. The day Governor Sisolak ordered Nevadans to stay home is the day air quality started improving. We have noticed a, a decrease in air pollution from the first half of March to the second half of March. And also, if you look at, if you compare February to March of this year, we saw about a 33% decrease in air pollution and that's consistent with what's happening around the country. Ozone is a colorless gas in the Earth's upper atmosphere. At ground level, it's a key ingredient in urban smog. In a time when the public is fighting off a respiratory virus, a decrease in ozone level is great news. The EPA says exposure to ozone can irritate your respiratory system, causing coughing, a sore throat, chest pain, and shortness of breath even in healthy people. We all breathe the same air, so the clearer the air, the better it is for everybody. Now I asked if we will see those air pollution levels spike right back up once life returns to normal. McDonald says only time and longer term data will tell. His department is in uncharted territory right now, just like everyone else. Reporting live, I'm Kelsey McFarland, 13 Action News. Kelsey, thank you.